I, I might have proved the people that said I'm awesome right more so than more so than uh, proving myself. But but yeah, it feels incredible. Were you surprised that one of the judges scored that by the draw? No, not really. I maybe would have. Yeah, I, Alan. Like when I got to the UFC, I'm like, shoot. There's like it, that grippy cage and whatever. It makes taking people down a lot harder and stuff. And uh, it's a little different, yeah. Obviously, going through the show, you know, with the land being around, did you feel pretty confident in this matchup going in there? I, not really, because I'm like, shoot, I don't really know. I mean, he's 15 and 0, and he's beat a lot of tough guys. And some guys, you know, they train differently than they fight. So I thought maybe, like, when it's a real fight, he's like, a, he's a, really a gamer. So I didn't know what to expect. Were you happy with your performance in the fight? No, I, I was really disappointed. Um, I was getting a little, you know, tired. Usually I don't get ever tired. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, like a timing issue, like after the show, I had to go shear alpacas for three months. And so I'm on the road. I'm just shearing all day, tackling llamas down and stuff. And then at the end of the day, I run over, try to find a gym in whatever state we're in and go train. But it's just not the same as being at your home gym. A lot of these gyms, like, they don't push you as hard, you know. Even when I'm out of shape eating fast food, I can make it through a workout. But it's a little different ball game. As soon as I got back to my gym, I was like, oh, I thought I was in shape. And I'm like, no, no, no. But Is there a thought of, you know, maybe switching camps or going to, like, a permanent gym and, and just, you know, making – now that you're in the UFC now. I'm, I have a permanent gym. Yeah. I just have a seasonal job for three months. Right. But the timing was terrible because right after the show, I had to leave, you know. Right. So – It'd be nice if I could keep my job and work around it, but shoot, I don't have to now. If I can make you know twenty thousand bucks a year, I'm sad. I may I, I can squeak by on this. I can live off this for a year. Do you, do you still plan on living in your van? Because uh, that was sort of featured on the show. And yeah, there's no reason not to. It's cheap, right? <laughs> what about here? Was it weird staying in a hotel as opposed to staying in the van? No, it's How nice. Where you slept? It, it, what? How you slept? Oh, I slept on the floor, but. <laughs> And, you know, what, what's it been like, this journey? I mean, I'll, you can go back to last year when you fought Devontae Smith. People were counting you out in that fight. You've really overcome a lot to get here. Has that hit you yet that you have this UFC victory and, and you're a mainstay in the UFC? <laughs> well, <laughs> fingers crossed, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, getting paid to fight? What? We get paid to do this? It's incredible. So, yeah, it's unbelievable. Back to you say you, you slept on the floor. Was it that you didn't want to pamper yourself too much? Yeah, I feel like, no, I just like, I feel like it, it's a slow, it's a steady decline, right? First thing, next thing you know, you start sleeping on beds. Next thing you know, you're crying, watching the notebook, you know? <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to get weak, you know? Ahead of your second UFC fight, will you sleep in a bed? No, I, I, I haven't slept on a bed since I was like, you know, six years old. So it's just, I, I feel like that's the future. In the future, they're going to sell like pieces of plywood. They gotta sell something, right? So they'll just tell you a piece of plywood. This is good for your back. Cause think about it, like when you're laying on a bed, your back's like all supported by the cushion. I feel like your muscles should be like supporting all that. And I've never had any back problems, so I'm the experiment. We'll see. If I'm all crippled up, what? Talk to a doctor about this. The doctors don't know anything. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. In 40 years, if I don't have any back problems, you'll know I was right. Um, <laughs> I'm not very interesting, but, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I keep, wi I keep winning somehow, even though I'm terrible. <laughs> That's interesting. I like that though. It seemed like you had a lot of fun in the season of the Ultimate Fighter. What, what was your favorite moment from the series? Oh, um, phew. there were so many crazy things that didn't even make it on film. Uh, <laughs> I, I personally like Tough Talk, who, uh, your skit with RJ. Oh, yeah, Love yeah. That. That was hilarious. Great. It was pretty funny. The the one guys they stuck like uh like on the dishwasher that it was br broken and it said like don't use dishwasher management or whatever. And the other team like the whole season they didn't use it and they were so pissed when they found out it was like fake. But it just sat there the whole season. I know this win's fresh, but when are you looking to get back in there? And is there anyone you want to fight in, on the roster? I I want to fight Joe Giannetti. I, I hate any time I get a loss. I'm like shoot. I know change one tiny little detail and it's a totally different fight. And 
I mean, I, people are justified in thinking I'm terrible, right? I went out there, I got choked out in three seconds. I, they're like, oh, obviously this guy has no jujitsu. I'd like to prove that I have some jujitsu. Like, okay, my striking is terrible. I'll, I'll give you that, but I have something. So I'd love to have a chance to redeem myself and get that fight back. Regardless of the outcome tonight. You yeah, I don't match? care who wins. I'd, I'd like to fight him. I'd love to. How are you celebrating today? Um, <laughs> uh, nothing. I don't. I don't know. Do Hopefully, I can go train all? somewhere. Maybe you can go sightsee a little bit, or? Uh, um, mm, I don't know. Maybe if my sister wants to. I was gonna try to find some place to train, go to the Couture's or something. Um, I, I I really think like I don't see Cormier taking him down. I mean, I see Stipe maybe taking Cormier down. Uh, maybe ground and pound, maybe knockout. I mean, I don't know. Please tell me how did you come up with your Instagram handle? Follow me online. <laughs> My friend was like, hey, you need to get on Instagram and whatever. I was like, oh, well, I don't know. What and he's like, I'll set you up for Instagram. And so I was like, he's like, what do you want your name to be? And I was just, oh, uh, well, I need followers.